guess who's back? Damn right, I'm back. Stick. Okay, I'm gonna keep this really brief because you're here to watch 12 hour TT video, not to listen to me drone on, although I do do a, a bit in the video, sorry about that. So when I entered the National 12 hour time trial champs, I also peer pressured try signs entering as well. So when it became apparent that I wasn't gonna enter, if I could get up there, there was no way I was not gonna go and support try Sai. In the last couple of years, he supported me at Outlaw events, he supported me at Ironman Wales. If there's any way I could go up there to support him and, and repay the favor, then I was gonna do it. Plus I already paid for a hotel, so you know. And I also want to document it in a video for him for some awesome memories of a great achievement. And as well as that, show us sort of an insight into what it takes to be in a support crew for such a, a long distance time trial, even what it takes to compete in a such a long distance time trial. So yes, it's a long video. Sorry about that. There's a lot of this, but let's get into it. Sit back, enjoy. Good morning, Tri Good morning. Dude. How you doing? All right, yeah, good, yeah. Right. Scared. <laughs> Welcome to the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. Welcome to the National 12 Hour Time Trial Championships 2020. Not in the guise I thought it'd be. However, tri -Sai you might recognise from, you've been in Iron Man Wales video, you've been in Outlaw videos. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for quite a while people thought you were my dad because you keep shouting, go on my son at yeah, events. That's right, yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's Even not though case. we look like twin brothers. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> yeah, so Simon, 12 hours on a bike today. What's the plan? Take it steady yeah. for at least the first six, okay. I think. Is that your, is that your snap bag? Yes, yeah, so I've got hot cross buns and yeah. granola bars in there and um, jelly babies, energy drink, bananas, Excellent. yeah, quite a bit to take with me. Yeah. Well, Simon's got a lift to the start. He's doing a bike ride all the way. Yeah, yeah, it's a 14 not... miles, it's been a nice little warm up. Oh, yeah, exactly. So we're hoping to give Simon some shouts on today and uh, food and drink as required. And, very, uh... very pleasant taxi driver, he didn't even be in the bed. He stayed up all night because he's doing the night runs yeah. till like 3.30 this morning. And he said, oh, I didn't want to go to bed in case I didn't wake up. I said, oh, thanks. Yeah, it's, it's right. I'm just struggling. I've been here half an hour doing this. Yeah, so it's just myself. Simon's gone for myself. I'm not doing it. Uh, gone for a road bike with clip on bars because, Simon, it's comfy, isn't it? it is. You tried a long, bike and, a long ride on your TT bike and what happened? Agony. <laughs> After four hours. <laughs> Absolute agony. Yeah. But this... I mean, it won't be comfy after no. eight hours, will it? But, no. you know, it should get me to the end. Yeah. Definitely. One of many bananas today. <laughs> I've got to say, Trisai has a YouTube channel. I'll leave a link down below. He's done one nine second clip. <laughs> You've got about 20 subscribers as well, haven't you? you got oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> What's the matter with people? <laughs> Horror of me. They need to get a life. <laughs> go on, Simon. Thank you. Go, go, go. Have you done a 12 hour before? Or not? Yeah. yeah. Too many. Experience then, you're easy. You know, the, the more you do, the less you know. Does okay. that make sense? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. You start to double question everything then. <laughs> yeah, good, thanks. Good? Yeah, I'm forward to it. Good. Yeah, a bit of a, bit of a triathlete, aren't you, more than anything? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So, Brian won. Won I in my new car, was it last year? Yeah. 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 Good. What's your plan for today? Oh, just be sensible. Within myself and yeah. see how it goes, getting into all known territory. Mm -hmm. Have you changed your training specifically for this or not? I have or? actually, yeah. Oh, I've cool. probably focused on this. I've never focused on a bike race before, to mm -hmm. be honest. I've done them, but yeah. they've usually just been part of the draft. Yeah. Same as Gary. Yeah. So uh, this one's probably one I've, I've had a little bit of focus on. I've backed off me, well, I've stopped running for a couple of weeks. Yeah. Just trying to have a cool. fresh your legs for the bike. Good stuff. Hoping the triathletes are ripping it up in the time trial world. There's a few, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Turn to races that aren't really known and push well, the My event's sort of nine hours, give or take. So yeah. Yeah, makes sense, doesn't it? Cool, we'll have a good ride. Well, we'll, we'll see you out there. No worries. You're going to catch him. Yeah. <laughs> it's only a minute. Yeah. You all right? All right, hi. Good. Are you riding? No, you're not. No, uh, I was down to start. I've got dental issues. I don't know. Wind and moaning, but I'm a bit good, to be honest. But I thought I'd make the most of it and come and, come and watch. So. We were discussing you last night. Oh, yeah? Are you? Are you slagging me off? Yeah, a little bit, are you? <laughs> Fair enough, yeah. <laughs> I'm um, alright actually, legs uh, seem to have waken up, so good. that's good. We've got 12 hours to wake them up, so <laughs> fine. Uh, yeah, I thought about doing like a 10 mile warm up or something, but no, no, no. Right, Adam, so how are you feeling, 12 hours ahead? Uh, pretty, uh, well, excited and nervous, mm -hmm. I'd say. Good. I <laughs> uh, don't really know what to expect. So your first 12, but you're no stranger to endurance cycling. Yeah, well, I was thinking, um, so I did that um, RA record, which was seven mm -hmm. hours. That's the longest I've done. Uh, yeah. I think 
I was ever laughing in the car because six weeks ago I hit my longest ever ride was 115 mile. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I, you're saying no stranger to endurance events, but uh, <laughs> sucker for punishment, <laughs> perhaps. Yeah, we'll find out today. <laughs> Excellent. Well, you had a great ride at the hundred, didn't you? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, I was really. Really so Adam's 100 mile um, national champion already, so yeah, that's right. another um, jersey would be great to get yeah. out here. Well, anything get... after that, hundreds of bonus um, really, so that's, yeah. Yeah. that's just like George Day for that. What do you think is the course change, obviously it's looking a little bit hillier? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know the other leg, um, <laughs> but it does look a bit hillier, but that kind of suits me a bit. I mean, it's not good for going far, mm -hmm. and it'll be harder, but um, I'm generally better on the hillier stuff, so good. it suits me a bit, but... Um, yeah. It's just gonna be hard, hard yeah. either way, isn't it? We're not having any other way, would we? Uh, what have you done bike specific wise for 12 Have you changed anything or Nothing. not? It's no. It's the same for 10s on 12s. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Mental. I'm not super aggressive, so it should be all right. Well, Andy Jackson, returning champion, 12 hour. How are you uh, feeling? Ready for a big day out? Uh, a big day out, that's for certain. Yeah, ready is another matter. You look like you put a bit of weight on pre 12 yeah, hour. You've been bulking here. Yeah. It's lockdown for you, that, you know, gets you going. <laughs> Keep me fueled for the day, hopefully. Uh, Hillier course, uh, does that suit you more? I like this course. I mean, I won the 24 on here. Okay. I won a 12 on here before. It's it's like the 100 we had last week. Mm -hmm. It's a you know, it's a proper course. Mm -hmm. And you know, there's not much dual carriageway, and it keeps it interesting. Cool. So everybody yeah. before you were saying they felt terrible. So. Oh god, thanks. <laughs> that makes me feel better. Cool. <laughs> Have a good ride. Thank you. Cheers. Cool. Bye. Liz, being a spectator is easy. You always whinge about it. What's going on for you? <laughs> it's hard work. It is hard work. And whenever the temperature changes, I close my mouth, open my mouth, my tooth just starts throbbing. <laughs> And we all know about it. Getting a headlock like that, so watching that. <laughs> anyway, so we've seen all the start, oh, people start now, so we're, we're going to go out to our support post on course after we've taken Liz to a toilet because she needs a wee. That's it, I'll grab your bottle. Well done! Well done. Nice well done, Simon! Well done. Woo! Hold on. You pushing. So the role of a support crew, it's tiring, isn't it? Very Absolutely. Nice. Oh, honestly. Liz, what's your nutrition been like up to yet? I've had my breakfast, I've had some Pringles, a big cup of tea. Excellent. What time is it? About half past nine? Okay. Yeah, I don't actually care what time it is, I was just saying. <laughs> yeah, maybe in about half an hour, yeah. yeah. All right, thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Well done, Simon. Yeah. Doing awesome. <laughs> So here we have a support crew. I've just given. Oh. Just one more lap. One more, yeah. One more on this bit. Well done, mate. Good work. Yeah, okay, come on, no, on. I'm fine. Thank Good you. Work. Well done. Thanks, Liz. Well done. Well done. Oh, is that close enough? <laughs> Liz, how's your day going? Good thanks, I've already had one power nap. A <laughs> <laughs> little nap, didn't you? Yeah. Little sleepy head. What's happening with the weather? Absolutely throwing it down. Oh, don't tell me what you're doing. Anyway, yeah, so time of day is 11.43. Simon started at 6, 8, 28. 28. So, do the maths for me. He's about five hours in, isn't he? So he's probably going to be about 100 miles or so in. He's going well. I don't know exactly how many miles he's done. I've got his live tracker, but it only shows me his location, not his distance. Um, we've given him a couple of, a couple of bottles. He is, looks like he's strong each time, mm -hmm. Very. doesn't he? So it's hard to gauge really. So we're going to see him in another 10, 15 minutes where it's potentially going to be wet. So this is where a support crew really comes in. Is he going to want to change his kit? Is he going to want to keep going? Is he going to want, you know, all those sorts of things that we need to think about. Well done, Simon. Chuck it down. Oh, sorry. Right. So this is when it's going to be getting tough. People are about six hours in and it is, yeah, tinkling it down. Well done. Good work, mate. Stick at it. Well done. So, you know, these shouts on the side of the road, we know what it's like, don't we, being that person on the bike. So we nearly just got in the car to think, oh, I'll wait for Simon to come another half an hour or so. But actually, no, let's stay out, getting a little toes wet, giving these people a shout on. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Come on, mate, stick at it. Good work, mate. Grit your teeth. Good work. Liz, how's your romantic weekend away going? We're having a time of our lives. We are, <laughs> aren't we? Uh oh. Well, we're not going to be on a bike. Well done. 
Well done. Good work. Stick at it, mate. Come on, Simon. Well right, done! Quickly, well done! Good job, mate! Good job, mate! So he's only just under 20 miles an hour average. Come on, he's got a... So Simon's just gone through, he didn't need a bottle, but I'm still going to wave it around. Um, he's gone through six hours in 117 miles. That's far in excess of what he thought he was going to do, so hopefully he can keep it up and keep it up and keep it right. Alright, well we're done. riding, mate. Let's go. So we've now moved locations up to the loop that they're doing seven times before we move on to the finishing circuit. So just to explain for Liz, that's why I should have said what the actual, because somebody's just gone past without a helmet on. You don't need to wear a helmet at a CTT event, they only strongly encourage it. But there but you, you go. Have to have a real eye. Yeah, anyway. So yeah, Simon's looking strong. When he comes past this time, he might want a bottle. And then the next lap, we've planned a food stock for him, so stopping him out, replenishing his pockets and stuff. So um, yeah, bottle this time, food next lap. I think that puts him on about 150 miles ish at that point, so fairly far into this. What was it? What time of day were we on? Like one o'clock? After that, I think. Is it? Hang on. Oh, come on, then. People are waiting, Liz. Oh, oh come on, girl. 1.36. Okay, so he's seven hours in. Over seven hours into his ride. What? What a guy. Food next time! bottle pick up, Simon didn't grab it, he half got it and I sort of put half it, he didn't pick the bottle up. So we're now trying to find our way on the course in front of him. So according to the rules you can pass somebody once and every 10 miles. So we've got to get ahead of him on the course and try and give him this bottle again. We're going to look for a hill so that it's easier to do it. That bit of the course probably isn't the best, it was wet, it was flat, it was pretty fast wasn't it? So he was moving at, at, you know, pretty quick so it was harder to do it. So I'll just shout out to him, keep going. You know, if he's going to stop, all that time stopping is just a waste of time. So it's our job as a support crew to get further up the road now and rectify that mistake. He's got to just do the pedaling. So we've not actually seen him yet. It's amazing how much ground he makes up, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, we're just going to follow the course and uh, get in front of him. So hopefully we'll get him his drink. There he is. Because of course he'd already chucked his bottle on the floor, so he's got no further now. Lovely. The loop's about 12 miles long. He's doing a 12 hour course. That's a, that's a long time to be without a drink. Right, on, you're counting now, now, mate. Well done. Well done. Good work. Oh, that was stressful. So we got him his bottle. He nearly dropped the one, the second one again. So this, you know, sticking within the rules, we've got one chance to get in this bottle again. So I went about 100 meters that way and Liz filled a bottle and went about 100 meters that way. So that way, if he missed the one I was giving him, he would then have an opportunity to get one, one off of Liz as well. And she probably wouldn't mess it up. So you're welcome, Si. Go on, Andy. Well done, mate. Come on, Formula One pit stop. Yeah. Okay. Oh, lovely right, weather, innit? Yeah, all right, actually, just yeah. the, the legs are starting to tie up a little bit. Yeah, um, I've sort of gone into race mode a little bit. Do you want to on like your race track? Basically? No, no, no. no he needs to uh, drag me down now. Okay. I've uh, sort of kept control of it for about six hours, and now I think I'm just yeah. going to try and. Simon, you can find yourself in a very good position, just keep going, honestly. Yeah, you're going yeah. well. That's how I thought, well. If yeah. you fade near the end, you fade near the end, don't yeah. you? But at least you can't, you know, you can't go away saying you, you're given. You well and truly pass halfway, aren't you? So you're well past yeah. that. Good work. One, one, five, three. Wow, awesome. Um, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I'm running out of pockets, so I'll just take that. That's um, it. Is it night, all right? Come on, that's night. Well done. Good work, well done. Well done, good work. Great riding. Oh. Well done. Well done, mate, good work. So we are now on the finishing circuit. It's about 4 p.m. So riders have got between two and three hours left to go. It's about a nine mile loop and they basically do that loop until you finish your 12 hours. There's been a lot of people dropping out, haven't there? Yes, there has. Um, so um, yeah, it's, Simon's still going strong. We've got a list of things to do when he next comes to us. So it stopped raining. Go on, Andy. Good work, mate. Go on, keep pressing on now. Dig deep, well done. So things we're gonna try and do. Simon did ask for some lube at the last stop, but I think he meant chain lube, I'm not sure. Uh, so I'm going to lube his chain, 
Um, I'm gonna offer him every which food we've got. So this is stuff he's brought, that's stuff I've brought. So if he's got a choice and Coke, you never know, you might want it. We're gonna change his drink so that he's got a full bottle of carb mix. And I've also got his jersey out as well because it's been raining, he might be wet, it's now dry. Changing a jersey, it might be a bit of morale you need to get you through the last couple of hours. So if he wants it, then, then he can have it. So yeah, that's the plan. Everybody's got a job, haven't you? Yes. What's your job, Liz? My job is to put him into a dry jersey. Dave's job is to change his drink and offer him some food. How are you doing? Fuck it, man. Cheers, yeah, we're good. Come on, I'm going to carry you. Is this coke or anything? Coke. Have you done it? Sorted? Awesome. So uh, the stop went well, everybody did, did the jobs correctly. Uh, Simon didn't want to change his jersey, he just had a fresh bottle, I lubed his chain and that was it, wasn't it? Yeah. He was stopped probably about 15 seconds if that, so good slick stop. And now he's on the finishing circuit and he's got about two hours left to go. It's weird, isn't it? I feel like you're nearly there, but it's still got a two hour ride to do, mental. He said his um, quads were hurting, but other than that, he's all right, so let's push a bit harder. Well done. Simon, you're moving well. Looking good, mate. Well done. <laughs> you have to hurry up, I can't hear what you're saying. He said he wants a new pair of legs. No, I still can't hear you. He wants a new pair of legs. What? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Andy, good work. Right over. Looking good, mate. Well done. Liz, how cold are you on a scale of one to cold? Cold? I've got six <laughs> layers on. What's wrong with you? And a towel wrapped right around me. I've just got a hoodie and a t-shirt on. Anyway. Simon has one hour and 28 minutes of ride time remaining. Good enough. He got this. It's too fast. <laughs> 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 got anything else? Got gel, banana. Out, fine. Well done, mate. Looking strong. Good work. <laughs> Liz, what did you get told off for? Going too fast. <laughs> <laughs> did you seem okay? Yeah, fine. Come on, mate, going well. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Really bad. You're oh, looking man. good. <laughs> Look, I'll be draggled. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling, Liz? I'm tired. Have you fueled well enough for today? Yeah, about plenty. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Simon. Less than a lap to go. What do you like for fluid? Plenty. Well done, mate. I'll see you near there. Great work. So he's got about 35 minutes left, so we reckon he's gonna get another lap in. Yeah. Yeah. You listen to what I'm saying? Okay, How are you well feeling? Done. Not long to go now. Well Looking strong, well done mate, finish it off. Right. TK1. Yeah, this route. Okay, good work. I won't get any okay, alright. Go on mate. Dave, Simon, Dave well, Charles. well done. Thank awesome you. Awesome achievement. Much. How many miles did you do? I reckon it'll be 228. Oh. Official uh, 12 hour. Incredible. About five, six minutes of uh, stoppage time. Mm -hmm. Thanks to you. No problem at all, you, no worries. You, you wouldn't let me stop any longer. Yeah, that's right. It's a race. Um, but great support. No. You, Liz. Not a problem. And your dad. We've had a great day. Family. I just, uh, you know good. what? I don't think I'd keep going without it. Awesome. And, you, you were saying you thought about stopping in the last 20 minutes. What, what were the other highs and lows? At any points where you felt great? Any points where you felt I tell you, the four? highs was. I mean, the first six hours were comfortable, mm. and then I had a real good spell between like six and eight and a half hours, mm. and I'd upped it a bit, mm. took the heart rate a bit higher, working a bit harder, and because yeah. we're on a short circuit, you start yeah. racing a bit, you see someone ahead, yeah. and you're, you're pushing along a bit, aren't you? When we drove past you, we saw you get out of the saddle up a hill, uh, and go past me, and I was like, well, hang on, he's, he's not messing around yeah, here. Like, yeah, 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 sort of, yeah. yeah, the race brain, because yeah. I, I switched that off, I thought, you can't race first six hours, that's yeah. it, zone two, keep it. Yeah. And then um, the low that lasted for three hours, yeah. from from nine hours really yeah. to the I end. I was surprised how little interaction we had because if I'm giving you a bottle, you're like, right, okay, yeah, and then it's 
I you know, go, go on you you're doing good and that's yeah. it and you're gone I there's know. no there's no yeah. like no that's why you yeah. know little chit chat yeah. yeah. that's why I tried to start spreading out didn't we then we faffed that bottle off. I thought right well this is a test we need to get further we need to get further you, up the road dipped it in baby oil god knows <laughs> 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 my, my hand just slipped out yeah. of there and, and then, then, then the next one yeah. I saw yeah. I had to cuddle it <laughs> but the next one I was like right if we if we miss this yeah. again I'd Liz 100 meters up the road as well so if we would missed that one you could have had another go because oh the chain lube was getting yeah. very cool. I was I, desperate for that. So I was thinking, okay, put myself in your shoes. If you've got a noisy chain, that's going to be doing your head in. And I yeah. thought, jersey, if you're wet and minging, yeah. just changing your jersey and getting some chain lube on might be the difference between you finishing it or not. But yeah. you, 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 I was all right. I, it I, out. I had, yeah. um, I've got skin's top on. Oh, okay, yeah. And yeah. all right, early on, I was a little bit warm, but mm. yeah, it's well worth wearing because mm. I've been freezing it mm. Because, yeah, them last few circuits, my heart rate was dropping right down, so yeah. it couldn't work. Yeah. My legs were, I mean, just, <laughs> they are. <laughs> agony. I feel like JCB's run over. That's what they. I, I never experienced that. Uh, you know, yeah. long rides we're done together and yeah. they hurt. Yeah. It's just, yeah. There was no recovery, is there? I won't make it upstairs. I, I need to stand there and stare. Were you, were you happy with what you ate and drank? Yeah, that was Great. bang on. Yeah, yeah I couldn't. And, and you passing me the drinks to save carrying, mm. you know, a litre and a half. It's the way it adds up, doesn't it? I mean, the, the weight yeah. of that. You know, and it was little things well, like when we when we stopped we'd swap it just so you've got a full one but then you're thinking but then if you've got a, on a shorter loop well what's the point in carrying a full well, bottle right. you might as well exactly. yeah. if you've got a sort of a quarter bottle left yeah. there, that's enough but to be honest the last two hours I struggled to take anything on board mm. I did I forced it down but my legs hurt so of, much it's sick made, of eating, it was yeah. making me feel sick yeah <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah i'll be back yeah. did you get passed by many of the like leaders oh yes yeah, you did yeah, yeah. Awesome. mental yeah and they're holding such a great mm. aero position from mm. the tt bikes with the disc wheel yeah you know. we we when we were still on that last on the finishing circuit we were noticing though that a lot of road bikes were going up there a fair bit quicker than people on tt bikes yeah people seem to be grinding big gears whereas road bikes seem to be spinning up i noticed that on uh, some of the inclines it was mm. definitely Pulling them back in mm. with a road bike, definitely. But um, yeah, it was the answer to ride that. Mm. But I'd like to do it with a bit more prep because mm -hmm. I mean, we didn't decide mm. until what was it? Five, six weeks ago. Yeah. It's a couple of months. Is it, two, yeah. two months. Can't be much more, can it? Mm. So there wasn't a huge amount. Of mm. But now you've done one. Was there anything you'd change? <laughs> Not doing it. Being on support crew side. I don't know really. It's it's hard to say. Mm. I don't know. I'd love to do it on the TT bike. Yeah. I think it'd be a matter of going out on it more mm. and building the mileage and getting mm. used. To it's it. a different fit though. If you've got a bike fit for triathlon where you're doing a 40k bike ride, well, going to yeah. doing 12 hours is completely different, isn't it? I mean, so you might find you. Of course, the only other thing to change would be more training. Mm. Or, specific training <laughs> yeah, really yeah. isn't it because yeah. although you know we're fit from what we do triathlon yeah. but this is it's just a different ball game yeah. and, uh, just but then it's to, how many hours do you commit to it yeah so. I thought if I clear 200 mm. today I, I definitely wanted that I thought I'd be, dis I'd be disappointed yeah. if I was yeah. under 200 um, and then just see what you got yeah. really do you know how much climbing was on it no, I, I don't. I don't know. No, I haven't. I've got low battery now. Mm. Um, I think so as well. You saved it. Yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah I had it on oh, the leash. I was again. laying. I was laying on the grass perch, and Charlotte said, "Your watch is on delete." <laughs> I said, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, it just oh, on here. It says ascent six eight seven zero. Oh man, that's massive. In, yeah. In feet, so yeah. I don't know what the elevation. Will be. No, that will be that. Will be that yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. oh, right. Yeah. Okay. It's seven thousand feet. That's what look like on Strava as well. Yeah. Is, uh, yeah. You're off, then. <laughs> yeah, it's hilly. Isn't it? That's an awesome ride, yeah. honestly. That's that, that first loop down to the battlefield roundabout, mm. that was the hardest, mm. definitely. Yeah, because mm. it was a long way down there mm. and the road was getting busy. I, I was glad to get off that because it's. There's a load of like old trucks, weren't there? Yeah, yeah. I know. I reckon they're off to a show, Massive diesel they? smoke from yeah. yeah. But the pre heath loop was. I, I could have done with doing you know, another lap or two there. It would have mm. been nice actually. And then less. They took you off after four or five Yeah. Because we didn't know. I reckon they'd only just changed. Yeah. It, you know. We were there thinking you'd do another couple and then a lady came up to us and said, oh, everybody's now going on to the finish. I thought, oh, that's a bit. It was like three o'clock, wasn't it? You're going to yeah. finish oh, circuit, yeah, it but... was. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. And, cause it and it makes in your mind 
you go in the finish zone, yeah. you start thinking, oh, I'm getting near the end, yeah. but yeah. you look at your watch, you're like three and a half hours. Yeah. <laughs> but the ride up to Wrexham from Prees, mm. that was horrible. Was it? It was hilly. Oh and God. It was a headwind as well, wasn't it? Because yeah. you're heading yeah. head west sort of most of the time, yeah. you know. We didn't, we didn't drive that way, did we? We drove a different way. <laughs> Worn down ride. <laughs> Easy spin. You guys get your shoes off? Oh, <laughs> yeah. There's something to, no, there's no, something no, to cut off. I got his spares. I'm sleeping in these. I've already brought these I as well. I think they might still be in the house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got you some after eight minutes on the back seat, if that makes it all right. Oh, I was most impressed that you just stuck to real food throughout it. Yeah. I think I always go to jelly beans, gels, sugary sugar, stuff. And you've just gone on like, you know, high yeah. carb stuff. I you? had um, my last hot cross bun was on about 11 hours. Yeah. It was tricky to eat it, mm. to be honest. Are you and hot and I, I, I chucked the last little bit in the edge. I, was like, I, can't, I can't force it down. Yeah. I've had nine, haven't I? Nine hot cross buns. I had four of them um, granolas, didn't I? Yeah. From Tesco. How many and, bananas? Oh, it's uh, half a dozen bananas. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't, uh, yeah. yeah, and yeah. I, I never felt hungry or out of energy. Yeah, you know? that's good. Cardio wise, yeah. felt absolutely fine, and it, in a way, it was a bit frustrating. Because yeah, mm. you think, oh, my legs went hurt so much. <laughs> you know, and that last little bit to get to the next timekeeper, mm. I was belting along because you, you, mm. you know, you got that five minutes, mm. and it's all over. <laughs> For three hours to go with. So quads is a long time. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You've done amazing. And I think, to be honest, you know, if I'd have gone any easier, it's, they would still mm. start hurting. Mm. You know, oh, yeah. I'd probably end up with less. I money. think sometimes, sometimes it's psychological. No matter how hard or far you go, yeah. when you get a certain percentage from the finish, exactly. you always think, oh, this is getting yeah, old. Yeah, we've mm. always said that. And, we, and you see, I've seen it with mm. other riders as well. It doesn't matter if it's a 50 or 100, mm. and, you know, they get get to like 90 miles. Mm. And, and, I've yeah. seen you crumble on the second lap of Caulfield, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Happens, doesn't I'm it? I'm going back to <laughs> I like Caulfield. That'll be over in that's, an hour. That's like 56 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but no, great challenge. It's a shame, shame that you missed it, because mm. I, I think you'd have, mm. you'd have put something in good around here. It was mentioned earlier that um, there's a 24 next year. What are your thoughts about that? <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed to swear. Oh, I'll go out now and try it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For 24. You know what? I, I see results of that. Um, I was looking at some results and I clicked on that. I didn't realise it's 24 hours. Mm. And I looked at the average speed and I thought, I could, I could, I could win that. <laughs> and then I looked at it at 12 because I thought it was 12 hours. Yeah, yeah. It's 24. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> yeah, tw like 21 and a half mile now. Ridiculous. Total moving average. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you did very well with the very limited stops. That's brilliant. To yeah. say, like, we don't train like that, do we? We're no, used we to don't. have I mean, a bike ride short enough that you can do it, you know, just for what, off once. But that's right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. awesome. So it, was, it was something completely new, wasn't mm. it? Even though we've done long rides, like mm. you say, we didn't. I keep, I keep myself because when, when you stop for your food stop, I should have thought, loop the chain. But some of the stuff you only pick up when you do this sort of thing, don't you? So now yeah. in the future you think, right, yeah. when there's opportunity to, because you stopped again to loop the chain, whereas actually you could have got away without that stop. But that we just saw splitting yeah, hairs. It's so yeah. quick though, wouldn't it? Yeah. You know, oh yeah, you yeah. Put that on there and, and actually... I mean, it's all over your chain, your wheel, my hands, everywhere. But it's, <laughs> I it's didn't on there. Care. I just spray it. <laughs> it's bright blue, isn't it? Just... It's bright blue. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I was going so slow up the hill. You could, you could have run past. Did you ever get? We noticed the first, Coast the first couple of loops. Everybody's pedalling down the hill, and then then on the second yeah. two, people were got like, three wheeling a bit. Right. So you're Try, trying to just save a little mm. bit and be a bit. It's, it's about being efficient, isn't it? Yeah. Really. Um, yeah. Awesome, well done. Oh, yeah, what? Well, I'm ready for my Guinness when I get to <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, There's Guinness. good news and bad news. <laughs> what? You didn't drink it, I know. <laughs> what a day. That was awesome. Simon did incredible to finish in 228 miles. I think he was inside the top 40. So in the national champs, that is absolutely awesome. Uh, the event was won by Adam Wilde, who we spoke to earlier in 294 miles or something. And then the next two or three people were very, very close to him. So it was a, a really tight fought race. But that to me, that was a really good eye opener. There was a lot of things I learned as a support crew that I would want as a rider in the future. So it wasn't completely a wasted journey at all because I picked up so much to use for next time. In terms of my own health, uh, we're now on 30th 
Thursday, the week after the time trial champs, I've had my tooth out. I'm not on the bike or anything yet. I'm just taking it easy. Hopefully be riding by the weekend steady-ish, but we'll see. So yeah, uh, daily videos back on now from 4 p.m. every day. So I shall see you tomorrow. If you've enjoyed this content, please do click that subscribe and like button down below. I very much appreciate it.